the go-to control mage into that mid lane and then the oriana picked up for edg and looking at the comps i honestly i feel like ed or sorry uh, blg just have a slightly better do with that priority as you can see azir is constantly pushing up but Gigi is already ready to pay him a visit. Oh, they actually, uh, he actually walks over a ward, so that's not going to happen. Uh, in the meantime, top lane trade going down to the wire. Ooh, there's the kind of barrage and the Nar. Both top laners going very, very low, but Bubu needs to be so careful. The parlay is not enough. And Bubu will be able to get out just about with his life. But JJ is here. Does he try to go underneath the tower? I think he does. He's oh no! Pew Pew was in the shop! He was in kind of counter pick into the Gnar. They tried to force that pick and in the rotation as we saw the pick bam. I have to stop myself here is Mako and Viper in a little bit of trouble. Two man knockup and Viper is dead. Mark will be traded though as he was tanking the turret. Two play and uh, Mark was on point uh, going up against Viper. Knew that they already burned the flash and this actually makes me a lot very more shortly though so they need to be very respectful of that should be able to gnar out the rift herald will hit the tower he does get the knockback though no tower for aggro on top of flandre so not able to make the most of that goes very very aggressive Bew Bew. Why? what was that <laughs> cs they were backing away it was a good call it was a good setup and then for some reason it was like those moments of like you know the the you know the knees and, and then other to like completely feed this 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 gangplank they're also committing scouts tp here there is nowhere for you to go view view no meganar no way out no flash and no life they get the kill they get the tower and the down while the nar is in the top side yeah and uh you know blg this is gonna be side pretty of the map and even without a flash onto Scout, he stays alive, and they are able to break the dragon stacking. So, BLG really are on the ropes right here. You know, they they use that dragon time to try and get try more. And maybe make sure there's no major shenanigans going down. Zika gonna be able to take one out. Didn't actually go with the Luden's Tempest in the end with the Leandri's Anguish. But you're losing so much pressure in the rest of the lane, and I feel like aiming is just lost right now halfway between top halfway between mid halfway between not getting anything and then they trade one for one but that's a team for the udir so he's very very fast and annoying but you do have a collector and a uh, gale force here for uh, meteor as we see flash burnt into this bot side scout able to get that one out of Bew Bew, and this is kind of fights all around right now as we can see flandre forced to flash they do get the head but pulverized straight onto him this is a big shutdown it will go to the alistair this, which to this correctly they still wanted to go for the dragon and now the objective is down to 3000 hp yeah they're going to be able to get a blg sneak away the baron as quick as you like but aiming where are you going to go buddy you've nowhere left you'll be sacrificed to the gods as a sacrifice for this kill as meteor he gets stopped with his recall he has to try and go straight in on top of scout and oh no viper finds zika mm. off screen you know like even though the exit kills definitely could have been a, a little bit cleaner on blg's side they do at least take that off the table Oh, we can see Flandre and Bubu going head to head here again. It's Mark all on his oh, lonesome, God. so a double kill for to come back into this. Definitely, and it's going to be a really difficult match. Uh, they're so far behind in the gold lead, and right now with Bubu this far behind, they don't they're, have a the, you know the the greatest of offensive uh, Drakes to be picking up. Have got the Randwood Dome in here oh. for Bubu, as we can see in this mid lane. They're going to go straight in the kind of barrage just to keep everybody away, and Mark trying to just walk away as best he can here they are seeing if they can get view view he's not able to get anything done whatsoever he is ticking down just a little bit more but no yes scout will flash in gets the super command. weird angle and super late into the team fight it is going to come down to meteor with that collateral damage in that flash can he actually find it no, they're not going to give him any kind of opportunity to. Mako forced the flash away to fight on two fronts, Ooh. but aiming jumps straight back onto the backside. That's a fantastic move from him. Zika does go down, but there's so many low health bars. This is all on aiming right now. He's going to jump onto Scout and onto Rel, but the shockwave is good enough from Scout. He gets himself into position with the Zonyas and EDG. It was a little risky, but they get themselves the kills. They get themselves the Baron. They get themselves everything. Aiming with a great snipe onto Viper, but it's not enough. There's just too many members alive for EDG. That was a, once again without a front line. I think that was the main issue. They don't really have someone to draw attention away. Uh, we saw EDG actually focus down. Come on, man. You can't do that to the man. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not having a fun time. Collector, and there's your uh, Lord Dominic's picked up here. So full items here for the for Flandre's gangplank is... Uh, 
very, very scary, and we'll probably one-shot aiming, so needs to be so, so careful with that. Missing, or not missing, excuse me, oh, Mako. As so you see, everyone just trying to go in. They go straight on top of everybody, and Mark tries to follow up. The shockwave's just too good, though. They trade mid laner for AD carry. They're Amy? seeing if aiming can keep oh. going on the backside. He just can't, though. They're too far behind. This was a smack with your wallet. There will not be a pentakill as Scout steals another one. It's only a quadra there for Flandre, but he has been immaculate this game on the gangplank, and EDG showing a another side of them that is just so damn potent this these guys are going from strength to strength right now all eyes on that bottom side between aiming and viper but it's flandry that really is the kingmaker right there and he goes into the bottom lane. azir two a's in the mid and the top lane and the yone locked in here for blg Okay, they've got a lot of engage. They've a hell of a lot of damage Easy to land. It is considered a, a, a blink too and With that crowd control and the damage follow-up potential fairly easy to get your jungler going as we see right now Ooh. There we go scouts in a little bit of trouble here level two versus level three and that means meteor will be able to pick up first blood We talked about that this patch nearly still untouched so incredibly powerful just with relative power Oh, might see this bot lane now explode Ooh. as JJ is here with Meteor. They do get Viper knock up there. The aiming goes down. Oh, actually, Mark is the first one to go down. And they jump straight in on top of aiming. He is the no. center underneath the tower, and they will get themselves a kill down there. As, uh, might look to something in this bot side. Ooh. His level six does not hit. The Swirl Seed, but they have got teleports committed straight away. Crashdown lands onto two. There's going to be a 4v5, 4v3 or 4v4 very, very shortly. As you can see, Meteor finally jumping in. JJ not quite going down, but Biu Biu will. And now the Aatrox has so much damage to be able to set up so much CC. More gold funneled into it. Viper, three kills, all these turret plates. And they know that Nidalee's in the top side. That means they can shook everything into this bot side. That is two turrets for a reply of none. And all the farm going over to the side. You stack oh. up your uh, ultimate with it, you know? It gives you a style point. Even though it does cost you one gold, I, I feel like this is the game Long to time, use. And you come out with 30 extra armor, uh, but EDG, they walk straight no. in on top of two he people. Predicts oh, he the predicts the flash, and they get Zika the kill. Fantastic move here from BLG. They will get the flash out from Mako. They're trying to jump straight in on top of the cow. They will get the Shurima shuffle, and the Emperor's divide, but double kill to Summoners. Zika. They are going to put in the TP. That dragon is gone, though. It's a little bit too late. They're trying to throw in the poke here with Meteor. And they're You're into the pit. He still can't get over the wall. And now it's Mako's turn for the action. Oh, the Sharima shuffle puts everyone in the tower range, and now they've got the Aatrox on the backside, but everyone seems to have gotten away just at the moment. They have used the Lilting Lullaby just now, so it's a three-man sleep, and they're trying to find the targets, and they will. Zika needs to keep himself alive, but he shall not survive. Three quick kills going over to the side of EDG, and they are not quite done just yet. Meteor in so much trouble here. He will get the Dawning Shadow over on top of him, but he will not escape as Flandre gets them a little bit. This is where the game starts to get a little bit more difficult because they are three and a half thousand gold behind. Another oh, good the prediction there. Flandre gets hit and there's the combo. You talked about it perfectly. Pushing him all the way back while this dragon's being taken. Now the TP being committed here by Scout does not have the Shurima Shuffle just yet. They're going to try and commit to this one on top of the dragon. They get in, but they do not get the dragon. That's third Drake here for EDG as the fight ensues. The rest of EDG trying to just keep themselves alive. It is Bubi who falls, but Ooh. they trade it for JJ. <gasps> Massive three-man knockoff. It's a quadra kill out of nowhere for Viper, and they're going to try and gift him over to the Penta. They are going to give him over to a Viper. Gets him. Is the power of a fed Samira. It's a third Drake. It's a Penta kill and a Baron. This is just monumental. And just the ensuing team fight. Once again, I feel like their front line is rather uncoordinated. And this has been the the picture of the team fights we've seen from BLG this entire split. I would not characterize them as a strong team fighting team because their front line just kind of goes in uh, one and two. And we, you know, in Chinese, we call that uh, cooking dumplings. You, you throw the dumplings into the pot one at a time and they just get devoured by the water. Yeah, the water right now is surging, pushing forward, creating such torrential downpours on top of BLG. You can't do anything. You're so far behind on items. You're so far behind on gold. And just a general team comp right now. The late game is here, Viper, but there's nothing you can do. 
true. Uh, honestly, BLG, they do have a Wombo combo, but they have to be able to get past Mako. If Mako can stop it mid-air, there's not much they can do to actually follow up. Uh, I do want to throw this out there, but the, uh, but the Fate Sealed is considered a blink, so it will not be stopped by, uh, by the um, Emperor's Divide. That is something we do have to watch out for, and maybe they can get into the back line that way. Well, we talked about the dumplings. Looks like these dumplings are well and truly cooked right now as uh, EDG onto the Nexus Tourist. They've taken down all three inhibitors. Meteor brought back by the Infernal Chains. Another little bit. They go straight in on top of Rel. That is a dead support if I've ever seen one. Scout gets down to half HP with one spear, but it does not matter because the rest of his team are just so far ahead. They jump straight in on top oh, of Yubi, who's not had a great series at all. They try the Wombo, but it's just not going to happen. The Shurima Shuffle is there. They get the Emperor's Divide. They get all the kills. They only lose one. And EDG 2-0 in incredibly convincing fashion and go 8 and and oh, at the halfway point of the Hi everyone, welcome to the interview. And now we have Scott from Everett Gaming with us. So first of all, congratulations on very clean 2-0 victory. And also now, eight consecutive wins for the solidified Edwards Games position at the top of our LPL standing. So how do you feel about today's victory? 那首先恭喜你们非常干净利落的拿下了本场比赛的胜利嘛 I'm very happy about getting eight consecutive wins currently, but also I think in the games we may make some mistakes here and there. So for this part, we still need to make some modifications for that. And also in the pre-match interviews, JJ sh uh, shared about the um, focusing around the early game tempo and to restrain the opponent's jungler can be a winning strategy against BLG. So I'm very curious about how this um, tactic work in the actual game for you guys. 那其实在赛前的一个采访之中，杰杰也和我们分享说，好像注重前期的一个节奏，去限制对面的一个打野，限制国豪，好像是面对BLG一个比较好的一个呃战略决策。那在实际的游戏当中，你们去怎么样去
um, after after Viper got a um, quadra kill, he just shot out like, "I want the Penta, I want the Penta," and then we just chasing the last on um, the last needly. And because I have already steal the uh, Penta kill from Game Blanc in game one, I feel I, I will be so bad if I steal the Penta kill again from Viper in game two. And also, my last question is: the next game, Edward Gaming will be facing against IG. And also, at the audience, we all looking forward for the matchup between you and Rookie. So, do you have any? Expectations toward the next matchup. 那其实，在下一局比赛 ，EDG 也会面对上 IG 嘛。我相信，作为粉丝，作作为观众，大家也是非常期待你和 Rookie 的一个中路对决。所以说，有没有对下场比赛有什么样的一个想法呢？就是，我也打了很久 Rookie 选手嘛，然后应该是互相都懂自己的风格吧。然后，我准备好的话，应该会没有什么问题吧。I've facing against Rookie a couple of a couple of times, and we are quite familiar with each other's playstyle. So I think we have we will have a very good matchup for the next game. And thank you for the sharing. Congratulations again. 那再一次的恭喜你们 ，and see you guys. Bye bye.